Well, Kenny, thanks for coming along and having a, a chat with us ahead of the, the next game, which of course is at the Leeds United number 21 team. But first of all, it's a bit of a torrid time at the moment for everybody at the football club. Is, is the word don't panic? Yeah, there's no need to panic. We, at the start of the season, we're playing effective football, um, if you can call it that, and getting points and being near the top of the table. And um, we, we, we started trying to develop more football, the philosophy of the football club. Um, obviously, you need good players and um, squad depth to do that. And we, we, we've been unfortunate with um, key players being injured to do that. So um, I think it, it, at the moment we're a bit stuck in between. And, um, but once once the players come back, we'll have more depth and we'll we'll be pushing each other and pushing the starters who maybe one or two have got to be um, sort of comfortable in, in playing every week and every week and they've got to be a standard to hit for them to keep the place when they come back. I think any football club, when you hear people talking when they're not winning football games, they always refer to hard work and application out on the training ground. I suppose that's what you've got to keep doing and hopefully it transfers to, to match days. Yeah, well, for most of the time here, you, if, you, if you came in every day and you could see the hard work for all the players and staff and everyone associated to the football club um, put, put in, um, no one had questioned hard work here. Um, we work as hard as, as possible and we'll keep working harder and harder and harder and giving our best because in the, at the end of the day um, we all want the same result and um, the same outcomes and we want to push up that league and, and change things around and start getting results again. It's early days for, for, the, for the new managerial team, obviously, I think they just had 20 odd games in charge. But they'll be feeling it as well because it's something new that they're hating. They know this football club inside out. Well, you know it probably even inside out even more. You've been there as a player for a long time. You've been there as an assistant manager with the previous manager and who was having bad results as well. What advice can you give them? No, I think um, they, they know they're working hard and we'll keep working harder and we'll keep improving because when, when you're not quite getting the results, it's, it's easy. When you're winning games of football, they, they, I think everyone knows that. It's, I think you learn, learn a lot when, when you're not winning or when you're not winning as much as you should be or drawing games of football, you probably learn more than when you're winning. So um, if we can all stick together, um, the Alex and Belly will be brilliant and they'll keep working as hard as everyone, keep pushing each other. and. Um, Again, we'll we'll end up turning it turning it around and um, getting on the on the better side of things. It's about everybody being together, keeping the spirits high as well, isn't it? You know, footballers can quickly go down bank if they're not winning games. Yeah, well, that's it. It's it's getting a, a mixture with, with critique, so you know. Um, the the players don't feel like everyone's on on at them and on at them, but um and also giving them the praise when they deserve it. So it's um you reflect on on games which we'll do do today and have a look where what we could put right and um, go from there. We also know that football fans are entitled to their opinion. There was a bit of a you know, verbal abuse coming out at the end of the game last Saturday. Obviously, no wonder you'd lost three 0 as well, they're entitled to that opinion, of course, because they pay a lot of money. I suppose the only way to win them round is win some games. Yeah, we need to give them things to, to shout about. Um, as you said, you've just you just said what I'd, I'd actually answer the question with. Um, they, they pay the money, all entitled to their opinion. But I think um, in the end of the day, we, we, we want the same thing. We want the same outcome. If we can stay stay behind, stay behind us and help us turn things round, because it's not just the players, it's not just the staff. It's it's not just the fans, it's, it's the whole club, it's people above, it's the it's whole club, we want to go in the right direction and um, as, as we probably said before, it hurts, more than, it hurts us more than anyone with a result like that, you know, you, you have late nights, you're thinking about it, every you take it home, you, um, so yeah, you, you sort of, you, you need to stick together and hopefully pull through together. Does it make you more determined? I know you know you, you probably can't do much more than what you're trying to do at the moment. But is there is that little anger in you to say right we, we're going to get there? Oh no, you can take it both ways. You can accept what people are saying and, and feel like feel sorry for yourselves, or yeah, and and the ones who want to criticise and keep criticising you. And sometimes, rightly so, is you, you, you want to prove people wrong and, and prove that you can you can do the job and you want to do the job and, and show them what you can you can do. And as you said, um, hopefully turn things around and when you're winning, it's a lot easier than right now. The manager has not used any excuses at all in terms of 
the, the amount of injuries you've had and key players have been out injured but touch wood they're on the way back is, is that going to be a big help? Oh, I'll be massive with these, these key players and with, with the, um, the depth in our squad you need your key players to stay fit so I, th I think someone asked me about when we played about nine games and where we're, we're finishing the league and I said I can't really answer that it's if you, if you kept the same if you kept your squad together, I'm saying, yeah, we'll push right, right up the table. And if you get key, key injuries, you, it's going to be hard work, which it, which it is, but you deal with it because you've got a squad and you trust the players who are coming in and that. But um, it also helps when you, your key players uh, who, who could possibly start to be, be in the starting 11 uh, out injured. Uh, we need to push the others and wait for them to come back. And when they come back, there'll be um, a good um, chance to keep your place. Unfortunately, the Leeds game, there's nothing riding on it for you in terms of progress. But there is for them, and I think they're bringing a, a good following as well, it's from Leeds to the Leeds, so there's going to create some atmosphere. And also, you'll want a professional performance, whatever 11 and, and substitutes your name. Yeah, again, there's going to be opportunities for, for players who maybe haven't played as many minutes as as you want and perfect chance to get into into the team now with the results not being what what we'd like so they've got all all got opportunities the the lads who are starting um to try and keep the place for saturday and, and, and just ahead of that you're exactly right it's two cup ties this week so the pressure is off league points it might be helpful for you to get some results behind you and bring some confidence back to one or two who might just be lacking it oh yeah it's, it, it's it's giving you your time for to get certain players back and to um, keep improving the style of what we want to want to put on the on the team. Keep um, keep improving the way we want to play, the way we want to look, and start taking chances. Which we we've, we've lost a couple of away games, three 0 and you you look back on it and go, yeah, we we haven't done as well as what we would like. And but there's been big chances, big moments in games, what we haven't quite took, and we need to take them chances. And obviously, you know, goals change. The, the way the games go.